Hey guys, what's up? Weiss here, and today I'm going to bring you some Alan Wake. Now, Alan Wake is a survival horror-ish game that was originally on the Xbox 360, but uh, it got ported to the PC, I'm not entirely sure how long after being put on the 360. All I really know is it never made its way to PS3, so I never really got a chance to actually sit down and play it. Uh... I have owned this game on PC for quite some time, but I've only played about maybe an hour of it or so. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here on the normal difficulty, and we'll see where it goes. So yeah. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. You ask me, that's what he gets for standing in the fucking road, right? So, yeah, this is a game that is interesting to me because it's a survival horror-y style game where you play as Alan, uh, who is our protagonist here. I had to turn that motion blur off. Sorry, guys. I should have done this earlier. Uh, can I even turn it off? Okay, I guess the motion blur does not turn off. Um, yeah, you play as this guy here, uh, Alan, and we will learn a little bit more about him. I had to go to the lighthouse. Here, in just a second. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. And. I'm noticing a lot of pop-ins, so I might have to go adjust the options again here in just a second. We'll see. That guy got the fuck up. And now he's super evil. Oh my god. You don't Bye. even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now. wasn't for your editor. You'll never okay, goodbye. I'm out of here. Later, fucker. <laughs> yeah. So this is a really interesting game. You I, I really like what they do with the enemy. Damn. Uh, how they're like covered in darkness and shit. And, and uh, their voices get all crazy and shit when they're talking to you. It's really neat. I really like it a lot. Ooh, back up. Oh, I just barely do did not dodge that one. Come on. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a really neat premise for a game. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I I need to put this back over here. I need to stay on the shoulder. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Oh, fuck. Twister. Oh, my God. Oh, no. 
That's a tornado, dude. I don't know about you, man, but I don't think any normal person can stand up to a tornado. I wouldn't want to try, to be honest. So. He's, he's, he's a rider, I guess. So he's, uh. Can't run very far. Dude, this bridge. How does this bridge not about to break and just completely send me down this bottomless fucking chasm? I don't even want to know. Alright. What's up, guy? Yeah, sure. I don't care who you are. Why? Oh no! Stop! No! Oh, damn it, die! No! 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 <laughs> I should note that I believe, if I remember correctly, this is a T-rated game and not an M-rated game, so there won't be a lot of like blood and gore in it. I don't think. Could be wrong. I don't really no remember very well. Um. Hey. I don't want to. No. You can't make me. Don't want to go that way. Dude, fuck this. Um. Shit. The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Let me go this way. Let me go this way. Let me go this way. Well, I can't go that way. That's the door that I fucking came in, and the dude's out there. So it's gotta be this way. It's gotta be this way. Come on. I knew it. Motherfucker, come on. Follow the light. Um. Oh, God, it's so bright. Oh, I can't fucking see anything. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Uh, also I want to note that I'm still continuing my Dark Souls playthrough, but I want to switch off here and there because uh, I'll get burned out on Dark Souls really oh, quick God. if I just try and stick I have to that. important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the uh, lake he called home pirouette. lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. No. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Magical God Ray, for uh, preparing my uh, staircase here. I do appreciate it. dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. It's I can us. only show you one more nice. thing. Just give me a bunch of those. Taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Thanks. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> like, he's just gonna fucking send this little flashlight down through a ray of light. Now, come on. Okay, come on. I don't want to use up my whole battery if I can avoid it. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Sure. So, like, I, I really like what they do with the targeting reticle here, in that it's your flashlight. Because it just makes sense. And it gives you a good reason to to blind them, I guess? I don't know. No, that's stupid. It, it, it's just neat how the targeting reticle is your flashlight, I guess, is what I should have said. But... In the nightmare, a terrible darkness yeah, was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Okay. Um, but it's just, it's so smart. Hey, get the fuck off my stairs, how about that, you punk? Oh, fuck! Did he go down? Oh, he didn't go down. Now he's, now he's dead. You can tell, because it, the, you get the little sense. Oh, shit, fuck! <laughs> no! Fuck you guys. 
Bye! <laughs> What's this? Flare gun? Okay. So... I assume this, like, really fucks them up. If, especially if they don't like light, I assume this really fucks them up. Yeah! Oh shit. They all die, or... I can't tell, but... Oh, I think that also heals me. I oh, know I was already healed from the from the lamp. No, goodbye. I'm running. Goodbye. He's coming, but I don't really care. Um. I can keep this up. Sure. Sure. Fuck off. Yeah. Bye. I'm running. I'm going as fast as I can, dude. Um. Shit. But I like I like this game because like I like survival horror kind of games. But I'm a huge wuss. And this game I can handle because it's not super scary. <laughs> um, like I really like, I, I love the idea of Silent Hill, but I can't, I can't bring myself to play Silent Hill for more than like a, like 30 minutes at a time because it just creeps me out. Uh, now if I remember correctly, there's like a collectible item, so I'm right over here and you have to pick up because it's like, you, you can't come back, so. But I guess I missed it. Uh, whatever. It's like a coffee there or something. You get something. I think you can just get an achievement. If you get I guess it doesn't matter that much in this game. Right? So. Well, I did it. I suppose. This does have some flashy jump scares in it, though. If I remember right, not too bad, but like stuff that'll make me jump in. Anyway. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Let's go with his eyes. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good looking game. Uh, for the time. I don't remember when this came out, but for the time, it's, it's pretty good looking. I did intend to play this over October and do it like a uh, spooky October month kind of thing, and I know it's like a month late, almost two months late from that, but I'm doing it now. At the very least, like, I'm not going to say that I'm going to finish this game, because I know me, and I probably will not finish this game, uh, but I will play it for Let's a little bit like at Robert least. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. Some I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. What's this guy want? Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? They have like the Xbox turn. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat Mayne, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I'm sure we will. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Look at the mud yeah. texture on that truck. It's like super blurry. Yeah. We just got here. This jacket texture is really good, though. Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Art looks really Have good, too. Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. 
I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call gonna walk me into this if there's car. a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What you got going on back here? Damn, yuppies. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Ain't that sweet. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Okay. Jay, baby. Let's go. We need to stop at the local like diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. The uh, Mr. Game. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore leave. when Thank they took you. it out of the window. I wasn't ready to leave. I needed to find Carl Stuckey to get the key to the Doesn't cabin. Look like him that much. And to keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. All right. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. There you go, guy. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Coconut again? You just... Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Mm -hmm. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Only evil okay. people put their fingers out like that. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. That's very sinister. I insist. That's very sinister. Thanks. What evil people wear veils. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Ugh. Very inspiring. Fucking goddammit. Camera. Oh, I keep touching my touch button. Lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Mm -hmm. This really oh, Damn, he passed out. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Wake. Okay, Bye. goodbye. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Gee, thanks. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Looks like a car key. That diner was But I guess it was supposed house. to be a house key. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense now that I think about it, because I always wondered about place? that. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up. 
up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Okay. That's a really pretty lake. Wow. Picturesque lake. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. <laughs> Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Don't mind. I gotta tap the button. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. Look at these crows, man. This is totally not like a fucking murder or cabin either. Yeah, ass bitch. You sent me out here to get killed. I can already tell, man. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, I gotta tap it at the right time. I did it. All me. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here. The fucking and dogs outside are going work. crazy, man. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. I don't believe you. Oh, baby, look at them jeans. I know what the surprise is. Ooh, well, girl. Hello there. Hey. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Surprise. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you back. Those panties Alice, are painted on you, her. Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not That's like not even that. what she said. That's not... Alan? <laughs> Bitch, she is... He I is don't, fucking don't. a foot in front of you. It. God damn it, Alice! Did you see that God creepy lady popping in I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. Alice? I'm coming, lady. Dark. All the lights were out. Alan? I'm gonna come get you. Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. Fucking hell. Right, Birds. No! What the hell? Alan, help me! Hell no. Alan! To the no, no, oh. no. Alice? Alice? She, she fell in the water? Oh, no! <gasps> Get a Superman dive your way in there. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? Uh. Waking up. 
up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. No oh, shit. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Alright, let's see here. It's in the back. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. It's a Lincoln. Seeing the book. It's a fucking real ass Lincoln. You see that? I didn't like it. What is this product placement like bullshit in my in video computer. game? Okay. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. I could do it. Couldn't? Okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty... Oh, fuck! Shit! 